Hi everyone, this is Wilson from Places and Foods. It's time to talk about tech again and today I'm going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. This is the talk of the town and when I posted this on Facebook, a lot of people asked me whether is this phone is good enough. So to be honest, when I hold this, this brings back a lot of memories because for those who actually gone through the era of StarTech, actually own a StarTech phone before, this feels like a StarTech phone. Well, back in the old days, phone companies want to make phones smaller, but nowadays, phone companies make phones larger. The bigger it is, the better. For this reason, Samsung actually created two different unique phones, the flip phones and the full phones. So if you want the small one, you can have the flip phone. If you want a big, big one, you can have the full phone. So which is better? That one, I will do another video to talk about it. But today, I'm going to talk about the Z Flip 3 photo and video quality. A lot of people have been talking about the uh, camera capability of the Z Flip 3. And in this video, I'll go through some of the features of the photo and the video quality of the Z Flip 3. So I took the Galaxy Z Flip 3 to the KLCD Center to test the 4K video I like this one and also I took a couple of photos this is the ultra wide angle so this is the 1x angle this is the 4 time zoom and this is a 10 time zoom Yo, hey guys, this is Wilson from Places and Food. So I'm using the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 trying the director's view at uh, Surya KLCC and as you can see there's uh, heaps of people around here Uh, I'm just doing some movement here to see whether it really jerks or it has improved with this new version of Actors View. So this is using the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, yeah? it's not the Z Fold 3. I'm just showing you guys some of the views here. Yo. So for your information, this is the flex mode. On the left, it is using the back camera. On the right is using the front camera. So for the flex mode, you can also take 16 by 9 videos but only with full HD. So this is the quality of the flex mode 16 by 9 uh, ultra wide mode. using the back camera 4k video quality as you can see as you can see the quality actually is not that bad and you still can see most of the details this is the ultra wide using the night mode this is the 1x mode and here are some of the uh, different photos I took, including food photos. So to be honest, overall the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 is good enough for your day-to-day -day usage and for your social media. So if you talk about uh, you want to post photos or videos for your Facebook, for your IG, for your Twitter, for your TikTok, even for your YouTube, this is actually good enough. But if you want something that is more, you want a high performance camera, maybe this might not be the good choice, but there is no such thing as a perfect phone. So lastly, I will touch a bit on the battery. A lot of people have been complaining about the battery life, to be honest. I've been using this like for a few days. And even like shooting videos and photos, 
you still can last a day but it depends on your usage and it depends on how do you use your phone but nowadays a lot of people are bringing out their power bank or you have a wireless charger anywhere in your office or at home so to me this power usage is not that important except you're on the phone like every minute for the past couple of hours then it will drain the battery but saying that all the phones will have their battery drained right so this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and it is really impressive if you have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, please do comment if you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button, like and share. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and be safe and see ya. So this is the slow motion video and I have, I have enlarged this and you can actually uh, evaluate the quality of the slow motion video which is not too bad at all Lastly, this is the ultra slow motion and I have enlarged it to fit the 4K resolution. Thanks for watching everyone.